Good morning to all of you. I am Dr. B. Pungadi, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Mathematics, SRM University. Today's topic is representation of a relation by a graph. So, what means a relation? You have to draw it by a diagraph. So, let R be a relation on a set A. To represent R graphically, each element of an A is represented by a point. This point is called as a node or a vertices. Whenever the element A is related to an element B, an arc is drawn from a point A to B. This arc is called as a arcs or edges. The arcs start from the first element of the related pair and go to the second element. The direction is indicated by an arrow. The resulting diagram is called as a director graph or digraph. So when we draw a graph, we say it is called as a digraph. I will show you one graph so that you can understand. How to draw a digraph? If we take the set to be a two, three, four, six. If I am taking the set to be this, an R is defined to be an R is defined by a R B if A divides B A divides B. This is A and not a is it? A divides B, then what are all R that you know? So, what are all R? Which element is divided by R? R. Okay. So, set of all A divides 2 is divided by 2, 2 is divided by 4, so 2 is divided by 6. Same way, 3 when we write it, 3 is divided by 3, so 3 comma 6, so 4 is divisible by 4, same element, then 4 is divisible by no other thing, 6 is divisible by 6, only these are the possibility. Okay, so when I have like this, how to draw? Like graph. So, how we can draw means there is no rule at all for drawing a digraph. Okay. So, for Hazan means there is a rule. Hazan diagram, there is a rule. So, we'll start like this. So, I have 2. So, 2 is mapped to same 2. So, this I will consider as a 2. This I will consider as a 3. Okay. So, 2 is mapped to the same element, same element means with arrow like this. Okay. So, 2 in 3 also it is mapped to the same element. I will draw it like this. So, 3 to 3 completed. So, 3 to 3 completed, 2 comma 2 completed. Okay. I have to draw 2 comma 4. So, 2 comma 4 somewhere here. So, another one more point here. I will consider this as 4. So, any other element 6 is there. So, I will draw 6 here. Okay, 2 comma 4 I have to communicate it. So, 2 comma 4 with the arrow mark. Same way 2 comma 4 completed. 2 comma 6 I have to draw it. 2 it is here. So, 2 comma 6 with a straight line. So, arrow mark you press it. Then 2 comma 6 completed. 3 comma 6. So, 3 comma 6. 3,6 completed. 4,4. 4, so, same element I should draw it. So, draw it like this. It is the same element. Same way. 6,6. 6, same element. Okay. It may be arrow mark this side or this side. Any way it is a meaning, it is the same element. This is the way for a digraph. So, this is a 
diagram for this R. If R, it will be given or it will not be given. So, we can write R and we can draw a diagram for this. So, it is a diagram for R, the corresponding R. So, same way, the diagram. It is also satisfied all the five conditions. Okay. So, what are all the conditions? Already we studied. It's a reflective, symmetric, irreflective, anti symmetric, and transitive. Same way, all these five conditions it satisfied. Same rule only. But once again, I will recall and stop with that. Okay. Diagram. Now this diagram satisfies so, so a relation R is reflexive if and only if there is loop. At every vertex, every vertex of a digraph of the relation. Relation R so that so that every ordered pair, so every ordered pair of the form A comma A occur in R. If no vertex have a loop means it is, this is called irreflective. If no loop means it is irreflective. Same thing in this. If it is no loop, if no loop, okay, no vertex has a loop like this in that. Vertex has a loop is called then R is irreflexive. If we meet second condition, it's symmetric. Same thing, if we become IA, whatever we studied in a relation, same is for a digraph also. A relation R, symmetric, if and only if. For every age, between distinct vertex distinct vertices in its digraph.
we have a distinct there is a h there is an h in the opposite direction in the opposite direction is called symmetric it is called symmetric opposite direction that we know notation is nothing but a comma b b comma a belongs to b comma a belongs to r whenever a comma b also it is a comma b also belongs to r okay so third is anti symmetric then transitive same rules relation r is anti symmetric if and only if there are never two edges in opposite direction between the distinct vertices this is anti symmetric last is transitive both condition is transitive last condition i said already five i have included the irreflexive as one more condition means it is five or four only so if and only if it's transitive what we say means whenever there is an h from a a to b what is b then from a b to again a from a what is c then there will be h from an a to c so that only same same condition whatever we use in the transitive only it's transitive so what we have to say if if and only if whenever in our there is an a h comma vertex a to a vertex b vertex b and from vertex b and from the vertex b vertex b to to vertex a, c there is an h from a to a to c so from a diagram we can draw a arch diagram for a partial ordering so that will be the next video thank you